Asim Rahman. In action against Michael Rush. Rush, of course, nicknamed Gold. You'll have no trouble telling these two apart. Rahman, good record. Only the feet, of course, in his last fight. Stopped in the 10th round by David Tua. Some people thought uh, it was premature. So Michael Rush then comes out. Bolts out of that corner, but uh, not a punch thrown yet. Is Michael Rush your idea of a man capable of uh, picking up the baton after leading heavyweights of today are finished? That's the question. 26 years of age, so he's got certainly got youth on his side. And he's beaten some good lads as well. Former USBA champion, IBF Intercontinental champion. Lost to USBA, of course, in his last fight. David Tua. So you've got to wonder if there's a crack somewhere in Rahman's armour, having been beaten in 10 by Tua, having led, of course. Michael Rush, well, he's lost three fights, but significantly they've all been inside the limit. Nice right there for Rahman, known as The Rock. Rush only had a short amateur career, 114, lost two, but won two Florida Golden Doves titles in that time. which shows it's pretty easy to become Florida Golden Gloves champion, I would imagine. Not like the old days. Rahman wearing that very high protector. That's the left hook there for Rush. And Rahman looks almost contemptible here about Rush's chances of an upset. Yes, that did look a bit low, didn't it? you saw Michael Rush here on Eurosport when he had that disputed win in his last fight against Art Pendergrass. Remember that? I thought, uh, and so did many others, that Pendergrass won that one. Had a good win for him against Marion Wilson, but then again, I suppose if you're anything reasonable, you beat Wilson. Another named opponent on the record that you'll remember, Josh Amadi. He's, of course, stopped Rush in six. Nice work there from Rahman. Once again, switching to the head, then downstairs. Not much left in the opener. The first big win, by the way, for Rahman was uh, a points win over Ross Purity. And of course, he bossed Trevor Burbick. round one a good start this so far for Rahman and it's a good showcase I think for Hassim Rahman winning that first round very comfortably <laughs> Michael Rush managed by Mrs B there she is a nice combination of punches there from Rahman if the left one doesn't get you the right one will as the saying goes so round two then first title came when he beat Jeff Wooden in nine for the USBA. Defended against Obed Sullivan. Good win for him. Beat the old campaigner Jesse Ferguson as well. Knocked out Steve Panel in two to become the IBF Intercontinental Champion. Still got that title by the way. But looking to get back here on the winning trail after that uh, disastrous defeat possibly against Tua. Of course, these days, a loss is no guarantee that uh, your career dwindles. In fact, it's more likely that it takes off as a result of a defeat. No one wants to fight a winner. They all want to fight a loser. Especially the champions. And that's really what's uh, gone wrong to a large extent with this sport. Too, much, too many options open for the champions. They defend against who they like these days and not who they should. Good show so far, though, by Rahman. This taking on a pretty live opponent here in Michael Rush. 
who in another breath, of course, could be considered a, um, something of a prospect himself, although he's had uh, 21 fights, 17 wins, 10 knockouts, three losses, one draw. The draw was in his debut, by the way, against one Ron Lewis over four rounds. Once again, nice left hand work by Hassim Rahman. We, of course, followed his career right from the early days back in 94. Right, 95. And people often ask me what the initials are, those letters on the uh, boxer's bandages around the cuff there of the glove. Of course, the inspector must inspect the gloves after they've been applied. And he just signs his initials, that's all they are. Just as proof that they've been checked. If you're saying, well, why hasn't Rahman got them? Well, he probably has, but you just can't see them. It may well have been a different inspector. He used a different pen. So once again, nice left hand work here by The Rock. And a bit of couple of steaming rights coming over from Rush, but uh, nothing to write home about so far. easy so far for Rahman, isn't it? Ooh, big sweeping left hook then from Rush. Big round again for Rahman. He's won the first two. Hasim Rahman looking pretty comfortable at the moment. Let's just see how he fares here in round three. Rush surely has got to change his tactics. He's uh, he tried something of a change in the second there, tried to pot with his right hand. But uh, Rahman, well, he's got the chin to take those shots. Of course, David too, a very compact, powerful little man. But he caught Rahman. I just wonder whether Rush has that kind of dynamic power. At the moment, it doesn't look like it. Again, Rush goes into his shell as Rahman opens up. And again, good work here by Rahman. And Rush looks on a hiding to nothing here. Simply can't match Rahman for boxing ability or power by the look of things. Oh, just a couple of little scuffing inside of the glove left hooks then from Rush. Well, is he going to get wound up enough now to start fighting back with some kind of spirit? Don't forget, his last fight was a tough one against Pendergrass. That little fella, we thought, in fact most of you did, that uh, Pendergrass beat him. So, I suppose that's on his mind as well. Difficult night's nice work so far for Rush. This is ambling backwards around this ring. Rahman, of course, might just get complacent and get caught. That's nice work again from Hassim Rahman. And Rush gets jolted back there. Well, this, uh, they call him gold, it could be fool's gold because he's taking far too many punches here. Once again, good work this by Hassim Rahman. That's a good body shot from Rush and he really is getting wound up now. He's fighting back with spirit here because he simply has to. Otherwise, he'd be steamrolling.
Good round again, this, for Rahman, and the referee just pulls him away. Good round again for Rahman, but to some spirited defiance there, I thought. From Rush. So, three gone. Seven to go. So a bit of replay here then from the third. I just wonder. Rahman, by the way, has won 29, lost one, stopped 24. And I'm just wondering if Rahman is the puncher he thinks he is. Here we go then, round four. Rush now wants to stand his ground here and obviously he favours that left hook of his although once again they're the right and for heavyweights they're not in bad shape these two men Rush came in at 209 pounds Rahman 237 so although he's weighing 237 as you can see that weight is well spread quite a tall man trained by one Chuck McGregor born in Baltimore by the way in Maryland Rahman to see Rahman up against someone like Michael Grant just to see what Grant's made of once again volley of punches here from Rahman and uh, Russia's got simply no answer at this point just trying to ride the storm then he'll come back with a right of his own or possibly a string of left hooks There you are, left hook. Once again, though, not thrown with the knuckle part of the glove. It's more of a slap. Russia calls from Tampa in Florida. think it would be reasonable to expect Rahman to get rid of a fighter like Rush over 10 rounds if, it, if that that is of course if he's to keep any hopes alive of becoming a live contender when you imagine Lennox Lewis up against him well it doesn't look like Rahman's got much of a chance there or in fact Evander Holyfield, but uh, you never can tell these days, of course, Holyfield are getting older by the day. Oh, we all. <laughs> Good round again for Rama, though. 40 36 now in his favour. And again, a bit of replay here. Good intelligent switching then from Hassan Rahman. And the head got covered, he went downstairs. Turn it in like a hook. Swallow it. You'll knock him out with a right hook. Pull it right into it. Say he's right on the temple. Speed. So round five then. Of the scheduled ten round heavyweight contest, Michael Gold Rush. No need to tell you what colour trunks he's wearing. As you can see. In action against Hassim Rama, known as the Rock. Well, the Rock got cracked on one occasion, and that was his last fight. And so 
far. I think Rahman's papered over those cracks pretty well here, but uh, not up against the same kind of punter, of course, as David Tua. And as you can see, he's perfectly relaxed here. He's a league above Rush. Nice left hook there from Gold Rush. Well, Michael Rush now getting a bit ambitious here. That might just not uh, be in his favour, to be honest with you. Not in his best interest at all to get too ambitious here against, uh, uh, I suppose, a fairly pedestrian pace that's been set by Rahman. He's not really put himself out here. He's winning it as he likes, but uh, hasn't gone full tilt yet. Will he? That's the question. not devastating punches by any means from Rahman no real body behind them although it's a great deal of pressure here that quite possibly Rush won't be able to stand well he took the punches okay and came back with a shot of his own but this big lad well he's all over him here now Again, there. Yes, I think Rahman's got a point. Well, <laughs> Rush has gone down now. He's got a problem. Yes, it's split nose, isn't it? Or oh, no, it's the left eye, in fact. Oh, goodness, that's bleeding very badly already. Look at that, how it pumps out there. If you're squeamish, don't look. This is uh, a nasty cut. And I, I'm just wondering if that's a clash of heads or a punch that did it. It's got to be over, surely, referee. Doctor there applying the swab to see if he can stop the bleeding. Very sporting, I thought, there of Rahman to point out that injury and refuse to go in and whack him again. Right, we're in round five, of course. I hope they'll stop it here. No point rush going on with a nasty cut like that. And of course, he's not winning anything at the moment. Oh, look at that. Ooh la la. That looked like a clash of heads, to be honest with you. So it is indeed all over in round five. An excellent win for Rahman, who was going to win it anyway. That's a very good win for Rahman. Beats Rush with a horrible cut. Well, before we get the official verdict, I am now the proud owner of the Spanish boxing record book compiled by my one of my Spanish colleagues, Emilio Marquigi. Thank you, Emilio. If you're into Spanish boxing records, that's the book for you. Quite tidy as well. But my brother's not in it. Anyway, it's a private joke. So, nasty cut then. And uh, Mrs. B having to press on that adrenaline swab to try and stem the bleeding. And it really did pour out, didn't it? I thought it was out of really did pour out it's a real shame but I just wonder where on earth you know he's ranked 15 in the world by the independent world boxing rankings just tell me who's above him Jeremy Williams John Ruiz McCall Hyde two are obviously Shannon Briggs here we go then for Michael Buffer of course number one the next third is Huddersfield two Brian Nielsen how on earth did he get to number three but the Dane is up there at number three above Mike Tyson never thought I'd ever see that in print Grant at five, Donald at six, Bird at seven. Ladies and gentlemen, the bout has been called at two minutes, 40 seconds of round number five. Because of a wound suffered by Michael Rush, he was unable to continue. Following the doctor's instructions, our referee called a halt to the bout. Jim Santa stops the bout. Once again, 240, round number five, the winner by TKO.